Hi everybody, it's Kurt Buddy, your cruise vacation consultant, coming to you live from the Steamboat Natchez here in Port of New Orleans. We got here a couple days early. We're doing a cruise uh, tomorrow. Uh, we're going out on the Carnival Valor from New Year's 2019 to 20. So we're pretty excited about that. We're having a day to kill. We're doing a little nostalgic. So we're on the Steamboat Natchez, which is the only authentic steam-driven paddle boat here left in Mississippi and New Orleans. We're on it right now. As you can see behind me, we have just left the port. You can see here, you can see uh, the city of New Orleans right behind me. Most of the grain is brought down from all of the There's Jackson Cathedral, and stored in grain elevator. Jackson Brewery, so forth. We have 10 grain elevators between I thought I'd give you a quick tour of what this ship looks like. It's uh, three decks high. Port of Louisiana, located up the river behind us, 535 miles. All kinds of options. Let's take a peek here. As I said, we're heading down street. This would be the main dining room. We're traveling south. Area. Towards the Gulf of Mexico. So you can look out here in the, in the river. river. Down the river to the Gulf of Mexico. It's about 110 miles. You'll see a couple cruise ships. That's the Norwegian breakaway. As the crow flies. And also the Carnival Glory, Contrary which sustained some damage mean, last weekend in a, a crash in uh, Cozumel. Wind took uh, a hold of it a little bit and it, it wiped the back end a little bit out. Which is, they're actually doing repairs on that as well right now. So it will still be out and sailing later tonight. Let's see what else we got here on the Steamboat Natchez today, though. Following the Amazon and now rivers. I really like this, this boat. I've been out of it a number of times. Um, it was built in 1975. Starts it's, uh, up at Lake Ice. It's very much a part of New Orleans. In Minnesota. It's got the steam calliope up on top that they play to let the town know when it's boarding. It's uh, it's, uh, it's really a, a staple. Um, I don't know what it holds. I don't want to throw a number out to lie at you, but I got to assume it's probably four or five hundred people. Between what is called Algiers Point. Algiers Point is one of the sharpest, deepest bends on the river. The water we're traveling over now is 214 feet deep. Let's go up here. Natural depth. We're now passing over 200 feet of water. Excuse me, sir. Average depth of the river in our port about 80 feet. Both shallow port Never a bad time feet, for a little bar. Which is this is on the third dock. floor. We have over 20 miles of wharfs and docking space in our port. Each of our wharfs. A little more of a sheltered area. Some people like to sit out in the sunlight, which is great. But it tends to get a little warm out here sometimes. Although the sun's not out too much today. Ugh. Shaking a little, wag a little tail off the dog from last night. That'll be fine. Let's see what the gift shop looks like. I bet this will be small, but nice. Let's see. Hello. Hi, how are you? Very well. How are you doing? I'm good. Look just behind doing a little tour. Right. You can view the skyline of our city. The tallest building is the Whitney Building. As you can see, you see, lots of options in here, connection. souvenirs right. for the Natchez. Now, this is one of the best spots on the river to take a picture of our skyline. Well, Christmas decorations. Now, point, view from there resembles a large moon crescent. Oh. Giving the city of New Orleans the nickname what do you think? the Crescent City. Captain Kurt? Not bad. Could be all right. The color building here on our left is a school called New Clock, Orleans Center for Creative Arts. Attending a school so New Orleans most gifted and talented students. Called No Clock. Green building with the words of beautiful written on the side. This used to be the old steam cotton compressed. Nice looking stuff. Building was added to 1965 by her Jane named Betsy. Betsy ripped the brick out 
Hi, I'm Kurt. I'm a travel agent from Chicago. I, I run a, a, a blog of videos. How are you? I'm well. doing a tour of your little boat. I like it very much. We've been on it many times. We love our boat. This is it's a lot of nostalgic in this boat. I really like this. Like we make a point to come on here every time I come down here. Oh, good. Absolutely. How many pa uh, passengers does it hold here? That it's was like twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. I said four, five hundred. Way off. Wow. Well, like yeah, we had nine hundred passengers yesterday morning. So. Really? Oh, it must have been a full boat. Wow. Oh, it was. It was. <laughs> that's that's amazing. Very nice little gift shop. Have you ever met, have you ever met Karen? No. Karen. Yeah, uh -uh. She's oh, does she? She does it. Yeah. Well, you, obviously, you've got a lot of stock here, so everything is everything is in people want. So, well, thank you for your hospitality. Have a great day. Take care. Thank you. The three bottle associations of the bar: Crescent and Nobro Bottle Association. Each group has a Texas bar down there. I think we know what that looks like. It's a small little bar. Let's get a look at that big red wheel before we sign off on this. Can't take a, can't take a tour of a paddleboat ride without seeing the wheel itself, right? Let's take a peek here. He then turned over to the Crescent River Pilot. Crescent Pilot of he got some 90 miles to the Crescent City of New Orleans. He then turned it over to the Nova Pilot. I don't know about you, I still can't see it. I'm going to go down another little bit. I can't jip you. I got to go see it. All right, watch it, people. Fat being coming through here. <laughs> oh. All right. Let's see. You can see some of the things we're seeing here on the tour as we're heading out. Tell you more about the steamboat Natchez. This is the ninth vessel to bear the name Natchez. They got the Natchez Indians of Natchez, Mississippi. Right. Built in Breakway, Louisiana, 1975. Cost five million dollars to build. 285 feet long, 46 feet wide. 285 feet Life long. Carry 1,230 passengers. There we go. That's a much better view. Turned by two steam engines. The wheel itself is 94 years old. So, a, again, and that's why this boat has got a lot of history and nostalgic here. The boat's built in 75, but they found an old original paddle that they've been restoring it and using forever. So, Well, that concludes the Steamboat Natchez tour here in the Port of New Orleans. A little something to consider doing if you get here a day early. I always advise every, all my cruise customers to get it at least a day early. If you want my help booking that first or next cruise, I'm always available. My number is 815-671-0044. Or you can email me at kbuddy, B-U-D-D-E, at Cruise Ship Centers, centers any with an S, dot com. Be glad to help you out. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of the day now. You guys have a great one. Bye-bye.